everyone, it's Arthur from Zebra Home Cinema. Hope you're having a great day. Bit of a grey and wet one this morning. Uh, we're here in Shrewsbury and uh, we're starting a very special project uh, which I'd like to share with you. So stay tuned. We're doing a really, really special project at the moment where we're installing a Steinway Lindorf system into this absolutely glorious space. Um, today I wanted to show you uh, in some detail about the Model S15 speaker from Steinway & Sons. Um, very interesting design. So this is a, an air tweeter uh, and it's a dipole speaker. So the sound is emitted from the drivers that you can see here, but it also comes out of the sides. Um, this is the entry-level on-wall speaker system, and so the client is having this as a centre speaker along with the surrounds. And uh, we're going to be combining this with a pair of Model O floor-standing speakers, um, just because our client loves to look at his speakers when he's enjoying music. Um, these weigh a considerable amount, so don't be fooled by the size. They're very discreet, but they're absolutely solid with a uh, significant amount of aluminium in them. So this will be positioned on a bracket as the centre speaker here. And there's going to be an acoustically transparent screen going in front of that during movie playback. And we're also having exactly the same on-board speaker at the level to the seating position for the left and right surrounds and for the pair of rear centres, as you can see here. So, there we go. So this is the uh, IC16 in ceiling speaker, which is directional. Um, so in this particular room, there's four um, Atmos, and because they're directional, there are two types. There's a left hand and a right hand. Um, in normal scenarios, we would, load, we would um, fit these um, longitudinally down the room, but because the joists in this, this build go across, we had to switch them around to so the left on the right, right on the left. But the intention, the main, the main, if I, lay, if I just lay this speaker down, the tweeter here is effectively the directional part. So um, that tweeter needs to be aiming to the sweet spot seating position for the for the, uh, for the listener. So in the actual brackets for the installation for these, there's a um, frame that's mounted in, we actually fra we've actually um, uh, mounted the frame directly to the joist to give it extra rigidity. So this is um, um, effectively as pretty much as rigid as we can get, so to remove all vibration. And then the speaker has these rubber feet, there's four rubber feet, that when we're ready to mount, we'll go into the slot so you can see here. Then there's a locking bracket that slides across to lock them in place. Um, so the four Atmos speakers are in the IC16s. Then there are the on wall speakers, which are now positioned, cables positioned. So we've set the surrounds, rear and uh, side surrounds, tweeter height at the same height as the front model O speakers and also the centre speaker, which is the same as the surrounds. Um, at, again, height position, same as the, the model and tweeter position. On the front of the room, we're putting a brand new screen research, um, 235 to one electric screen. So this is actually a dedicated, there's no TV in here. Um, the client is a, um, a big um, audio hi-fi um, listener. So he wanted to have the room in an audio set up configuration, so the screen is actually electric and it goes away. There was a previous screen here, we got to open up for a larger three metre screen research screen, um, and that's, um, that's going to be going shortly. 